that's odd. What if? Well, according to my instruments, we're in the middle of a gale. Yet I can't feel any wind. What do you make of that? I don't make anything of it. You told me to keep my opinions to myself, remember? Will you stop messing with my experiments? You fluctuated with my theories. What are they? Well, if my theory's correct, we're going to see a twister in this field before the day's out. I've seen one already. Do you mind? I resemble that remark. Now, just let me get on. Come on, you reds! Looks like rain. Aha! That could be another reason. Look! Spaceship! Over there! Where? Over there! Rubbish! But I saw it! No, you only thought you saw it. It's your brain playing tricks on you. Do you think so? Yes. Though how anything so small can possibly play tricks beats me. <laughs> Very funny. You know that spaceship I thought I saw? I thought I saw it again. I think you're coming down with something. It's probably corn fever. Lots of it about this time of year. You should wear something on your head. Like what? A bucket. Won't cure it, but at least it'll stop me having to listen to you witter on about spaceships all day. <laughs> Look! Ah, will you stop shouting? You nearly burst my experiment. It's a flying saucer. It's a seagull. With flashing lights all down the side. Well, it's probably been to a party. You know what seagulls are like. Anything for a laugh. Now, one thing I'm certain of, that is not a flying saucer. Are you absolutely sure? Positive. Oh dear, oh dear. Once and for all, will you stop going on about spaceships? But I did see it. No, you didn't. I told you what it was you saw. Oh yes, let me see. The last one was the sun shining on the head of a bald hand glider. Excuse me if I'm not convinced. Well, it's more likely than what you said it was. Yes, but... No buts. I know, but... Ah, da, 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 da. I don't want to hear another word. Now, pedal faster. I want to get home sometime tonight. OK, you won't hear another word out of me. Good. But I know what I saw. I thought you said I wouldn't hear another word. You didn't. That was six. What was that? It'll be one of my twisters. Do you know, I bet you anything you like, when we get back to that field in the morning, it'll be covered in circles. When we come back? Forget it, I'm going nowhere near that field. I'm going to put as much distance between me and this place as possible. It won't go. Don't worry, you'll just need a slight mechanical adjustment. Try that. Now what? We can't seem to fix it and we can't sit here all night. No. We'll have to find somewhere to stay. There might be a hotel down the road. Just a minute. I don't want to stay here. I think this is where I saw the saucer land. It could be full of aliens with two heads. Don't be silly. They wouldn't stay here. They'd stay incognito. Where's Cognito? Undercover. They wouldn't book into a hotel. There'd be too many questions. I've got a couple of questions myself. Like, what am I doing here, for one? You're with me, aren't you? That's the other one. What am I doing here with you? Look, you stay here. I'll go and check the place out for little green men before we book in. Right. Will you? I will. Oh, good. You stay here. Don't go talking to any strangers. Very funny. Deliveries around the back. Are they really? Very nice. Uh, I'd like two rooms for a couple of nights, please. Um, single? No, no, I'd like two of them. I mean, do you want single rooms? Oh, I see, silly me. Yes, please. En suite? Thank you very much. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> that means with own bathroom. Oh, I see. Well, if it's all the same to you, we'll use one of yours, because we haven't brought ours with us, you see. Right. Um, if you just fill in this form. Have you got your baggage? Yes, I've left him in the car park. I'll just fill this form in, then I'll go and fetch him. We've got the rooms. Oh, 
Did you check the place over? Oh, yes, went over at the Fine Tooth Cup. They're very nice. No, I meant about the green men. Oh, they think it's very nice as well. What? <laughs> Only joking. Come on, it's lovely in there. Well, if you're sure, I'm not happy. See? It's not bad, is it? Suppose not. There's no suppose about it. Go and sign in. Ah, uh, Mr. Oppenheimer, you must be the gentleman from Venus. I sure am. Uh, we've been expecting you. Where are you going? Anywhere. That man at the desk is from another planet. I'm beginning to think he's not the only one. I've had just about enough of this. Saucer. I told you, but you wouldn't believe me. Come and see for yourself. There. Now call me an idiot. You're an idiot? Eh? But I saw it. talking like that. That man's a perfectly normal human being. Probably a tourist. What's he going to think hearing you going on like that? I don't care what he thinks. Well, I do. Now, I want to get to bed and have a good night's sleep. We might feel better in the morning. We're not ill. We may not be, but I'm getting really sick of you. <sighs> Charming. Excuse me, I wonder if you could be of assistance. Uh, impossible, what is it? Well, do you remember my brother? Who could forget himself? Oh, we'd be very pleased he made such an impression. You both did. What can I do for you? Well, he's inadvertently and without malice or foresight locked himself out of the room. And we were wondering if you could lend us the pass key so we could get back in. Why didn't he come down himself? Um, he thought you might think he was a bit daft. Hmm, I see. Well, I don't like giving anyone the key. It's most irregular. Don't worry, I'll give it a shot of oil. It'll do it the world no good. Uh, don't trouble yourself. Just bring it back. I haven't taken it anywhere yet. When you've finished with it. Oh, I see. Yes, I'll bring it back as soon as I've finished. the window. Look. First it was there, then it wasn't, then it was there again, then it wasn't, then it was. Don't tell me, then it wasn't. But it was. And the man from Venus was standing beside it looking up. All right, all right. You've obviously got a bee in your bonnet about this, and there's nothing I can say or do that's going to change your mind. So I suggest you go and investigate. Investigate? Yes, find some more evidence. How am I going to do that? Well, you're convinced that a man across the way is from Venus. 
So I suggest you go in there and have a good look round. I can't do that. Why not? Oh, don't tell me. You wouldn't go into anybody's room without the permission. No, I haven't got a key. Oh, well, you surprised me, Barry. But never mind, I've got a pass key here. Where'd you get that from? Um, well, it doesn't really matter. Do you want it? Are you coming as well? No, nope, you're on your own. What happens if he's in there? He isn't. I've just seen him go out. Oh, God. For world domination, the takeover, Venus in control. It's worse than I thought. Better show Paul. Good evening. I thought I'd lost my papers. Uh, we haven't been introduced. I take it you're here with the others for the takeover discussion? Uh, possibly. You're from... I'm sorry. I'm from Venus. I guess you'll be one of us soon too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, I thought there'd be more resistance. But everything's gone exactly according to plan. By this time tomorrow, we'll be in complete control. Complete control? Well, I've got to make a move. I'll see you later for the uh, world domination ceremony. Uh, possibly. I'm looking forward to it. I'm raring to go. Me too. Has he gone? Sorry. Get your coat on quick. Did you find anything out? Oh yes, I found this document. I know, I've seen it. There's even more of them stopping here. Seems you were on the right track after all. Was I? I've never been on the right track before. I think we've stumbled into something really nasty. It'll have been when we were on that track. Still it'll brush off. Shouldn't we tell somebody? No, we need more evidence. Where are we going to get that? We'll go down to their marquee and join that meeting. We'll see what they're doing. Okay, I'll wait here. Yes. You will not. You'll follow me. Come on, get out of here. to do something about this. We've got to stop them. Stop them from doing what? Well, you heard what they said. They're planning to take over the planet. How are we going to stop them? We might not be able to stop them, Barry, but we're going to teach them that if they want to take over this planet, they've got to deal with me first. Come on. What do you mean, come on? You said it's you they've got to deal with. Come on. The takeover of the Dan the Van Duve Company will make us the biggest electric blanket manufacturer in the world. I'd like to propose a toast to our company logo, the old flying saucer, and wish every success in the future to our company. Venus Duvets and Eiderdowns. Venus Duvets and Eiderdowns. Don't understand? Well, let me give you a tip. If you're going to let your hotel be used by people from another planet, you better start learning another language. Now, I'll warn you, sir, I won't be interfered with. Barry, keep him there. 
I beg your pardon, just a minute, where are you going? I'm not in league with beings from outer space. I've never even met one. But some of your guests are from Venus. If you mean Mr. Oppenheimer, he's from Venus, all right. Venus duvets and eiderdowns. They manufacture electric blankets. But they're taking over. Yes, another company. Oops. You! Mr. Oppenheimer, sir, I think there's been some kind of dreadful mistake. Yes, the team made it. We're checking out. All of you? Yes, all of us. We're not staying anywhere. They treat visitors the way this place does. We're going home. Do you realize what you've done? You've ruined my business. It was an easy mistake to make. Oh, oh buddy, I think it's time we went home. Mr. Dan, tomorrow. Tell him the deal's off. If he wants to go into Galactic, he better try the Martians. Personally, I think we should give this planet a wide berth in future. Time to go home. Scary stuff there in Chuckle Vision. Still, they're very funny. Now, there's another series coming to CBBC in just two seconds, and it's Say It, Saw It.